Hello and welcome back. Is it worth to buy an extra charger for the DJI Air 3 for the charging hub? As you may know, the DJI Air 3 and the DJI Air 3S will provide in the Flymore combo the charging hub, but no charger, so you have to pick your own one. To make the test today, I have prepared my battery. It is now, we can check it, uh, only one bar left, it is at 21%. And I will check how fast I can charge with different chargers. And for testing purpose, I have this little gadget here. What will show us exactly how many watts will go through the wire while charging. So let's get started. Now let's insert the battery into the charging hub. And uh, for testing purpose, as I said, my little gadget, plug it in the USB-C port and first up for testing is the anchor 65 watt this is what I had already so the question is it sufficient for the charging hub let's test it plug it into the power and now plug in the cable and let's check so hopefully you can see it. So it is at 60, 69. I think I better have to read for you. 69, 61. So wait a while, it's jumping between different displays now. 60. Okay, let's say about 60 what we get with the charging up and together with the anchor adapter and uh, now switch to the next one for testing in this case let's do the other one I bought the 100 watt charger from anchor now let's see if it makes any difference if we go with the 100 watt okay connect it first Okay, and let's check again what we can see. Hard to read for you, maybe I read for you. It says 40, 46, around 46. So surprisingly, this is even less than the 65 watt charger from Anchor. So this is a real surprise. I think I tested it again. It's uh, strange that they both have uh, such a huge difference and the 100 watt should give you more. Uh, maybe i try a different port from the charger. Let's see if it makes a difference. Okay, let's wait a while and check. Nope, the max I get out of here is 46. This is somehow strange. And uh, nope, that's it. Okay, test it once again with the 65 watt and charger from Anchor. Do it again. Wait. Sixty. So in this case, the sixty-five watt anchor charger will charge faster than the hundred watt. That's surprising. Now for the final test, let's take a standard Apple charger, the one I got from my MacBook Pro. This is rated as a 60 watt max. And uh, yeah, 
Let's do the test final one with this charger. So I plug it out again. We now change to the Apple charger. Connect it to my little gadget. Plug it in. And let's see. No surprise, it's around 58, 57, so almost 60. So this is a real surprise, so that the higher price charger will give you less power or less watt will go into the charging hub from DJI. So what do you think? Is it worth to invest in a high charger? I think even if you have the Apple charger, take this one, it's enough. The only, what was it, around two to three watts you get more with the 65 watt from Anchor is worth the cost. It's a fine charger, yes, but if you have something lying in your round, like the charger from Apple, take this one. And the 100 watt, I don't know if it's worth the cost, for instance, if you go for DJI. I doubt that the DJI charger will give you more than the Anker 100 watt. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.